Now the final step of this course is to print the project. In order to print my project, I will go to the print preview icon here and click print preview. Once I click print preview, you can see I have the print preview here. In order to change the columns or the Gantt chart options that I want to print, I will go to the page setup options here. Once I click the page setup options, it gives me different options such as to change the page size, to change the margins, to change header and footer and other options. Let's say for header and footer, I can divide the header of my print preview as you can see here I have divided into one section. I can add a picture to it, I can add a Gantt chart legend or a revision box or a text or logo. Let's say I have selected a picture and then I will browse to the place where I, from where I want to add the picture and click apply. Similarly, in order to change my footer options, I'll go to the footer option. I have divided my footer option into three parts or three sections. As you can see, the first section shows the name and the date. The second section shows the revision box and the third section shows the Gantt chart legend. I have different options to choose from and it depends on my choice. And in the revision box, let me name this as P6 course and click apply. Now you can see the name of the project and other details and the Gantt chart legend here. These are the different options which you can change. You can change the height of the footer and the header as well. Last tab in the page setup is options. Under options, we can select the time scale or of the Gantt chart that we want to show here. I can select the start of the time scale. Let's say I want to start from project start up to project finish. And I want to print activity table. If I want to print only activity table without Gantt chart, I can click here and click apply. Now my Gantt chart is hidden. But if I want to print both of them, I can select the Gantt chart as well and click apply and now it will print my Gantt chart as well as well as my activities table. Once I'm done with this I'll just click apply and click OK. Once we are ready we'll just click the print option here and it will print our project. You can print it to a PDF printer as well. So that's all about this course. I hope you enjoyed learning with this course and after taking the course and now you will be able to create project in P6, create WBS, create activities, update progress and various other things which I have taught you in this course.